What's going on, YouTube? Another update here for the Lava Rock Aquaponic Garden. A little colder out right now. It's, uh, I don't know, like 45 outside, and here it's like 48. Something. So, it's not really hot or anything like that, but it's not that cold. It's not freezing. But, uh, yeah, should be a pretty short one, because as you can see, everything is pretty thinned out. Um, getting ready. I don't have, I don't see anyway, any of the seeds that I threw down in here uh, popping up yet. But the carrots are looking just fine over here. I want to pull them, but it's just this one being so close right here to uh, the lettuce, which is beautiful. And I don't want to disturb the lettuce there, but I think it's beyond time to go ahead and pull those carrots. I don't even remember when I put them in there. I'd have to look back. Uh, I believe that's a Loran strawberry. Looking good. Look at all that new growth popping up. Always encouraging. Uh, the other little lettuce friend right over here. Looking beautiful. Look how bushy that is. I'm usually... Well, I've had a couple of, uh, of successes with lettuce. But for the most part, I'm kind of crappy when it comes to lettuce. Um... I believe it was the first year I did uh, aquaponics at all. I had strawberries and lettuce and jalapenos and that jalapeno challenge. I think that was the best I ever had lettuce. I was eating lettuce like crazy. I haven't eaten any of this lettuce yet, but it's still taking off, I guess. Um, like I said, no more seeds. I think I put them all throughout in here. Um, my little strawberries got some new growth popping off on there. And uh, yeah, another little new growth. But that's about it on those. Um, over here, got uh, strawberries, more. And they got new growth popping right off. If it would focus, that's close enough. And a little cabbage right behind it. Look at those guys, looking so nice. Standing up tall and everything. Uh, gotta pull that cup and these cups over here, that cup over there. Another little cabbage right here, looking cute. And my broccoli, check that out, starting to form little extra heads on there. So that's pretty cool. Some more right down there. And I want to say they're all doing that. Well, this guy right back here is doing it. But uh, yeah, it looks like three of them, really. This guy right over here, just kind of. But uh, yeah, so that's actually starting to happen so that's pretty cool we got some more side shoots down here popping off some crappy looking leaves like this <laughs> and uh, new growth right over there so that's pretty encouraging another shot of those little uh, broccolis over there looking good and then we move on to my kale I ended up cutting this sucker off right at the top and uh, not much. You can see there's a little tiny bit like right in here and stuff like that, but a little bit of little offshoots and stuff. This guy right over here is just starting to grow again. So by cutting off the top, I guess I... Um, actually, I didn't cut the top off, as you can see. Um, that is just where it died off. But uh, yeah, got all kind of new growth popping right off on that guy. So... That's my win of the week right there. And, uh, yeah, well, back over, more carrot. And, again, right in here I planted a whole bunch of stuff, and I don't see anything popping up yet. So, well, got a little uh, strawberry back here hanging out. Then, right over here, look at the size of this freaking kale. Looking nice. I believe this is my biggest and bushiest kale out of the entire greenhouse, so you win, little buddy. All kind of new growth popping off. And check this out. Down here, it's starting to grow off little new side shoots and all that stuff over here, so how about that, man? Got all kind of kale stuff going on over here. This guy's not looking so good, so I was kind of thinking maybe I should just cut off the top and see if it'll start growing. Uh, little tiny strawberry, looking crappy. Can't wait for uh, that new growth to take off there so I can get rid of that old leaf there. Little tiny lettuce, look at this. Even this little guy is doing half decent. Other garden, not doing great at all. Little tiny pepper that made it. 
is still making it? I don't know. It's doing something over there, and uh, it's not dying, so I'm just still amazed by the, all this goofy growth right here on the uh, side of that kill. Anyway, right over here, we we'll move into the deep culture, deep water culture bed here. Not a lot of stuff growing on, but my cat, our broccoli is. I keep trying to call it a cabbage. It's not a cabbage. It's a broccoli. And then, um, strawberry. Not looking so good. Looks like these crowns are uh, dying off there. Same with that guy. This guy's looking good, though. And nothing on the quinault there. That was one of the runners. My mint is doing great. All three of those guys looking awesome. And since I removed cups here, you can actually see in there. That's where the water level uh, pretty much remains in this bed. Because of my drain right there. It's just constantly uh, pumping in water and then draining. So in case you wanted a behind the scenes look of how my uh, deep water culture bed uh, drains. Fill one right over here. Comes right in. Got a hole drilled, and it fills over here, drains way over here, aeration I believe is right here, and right here. Something like that. No, I think it's like right here, and right here. Anyway, that's pretty much all the stuff I got growing on in here. Catfish, looking awesome. Wish I could show them to you. <laughs> Trust me, I've already uh, done a couple more videos, which are fail videos, and I'm not putting them up of me failing to get the catfish on video. So, seems to be a running uh, fun little thing that I do is just set up the camera and talk to myself for quite a while. But anyway, uh, one of these days I'll get them on camera and one of these days I will get the hose out and get that water level up because that is down pretty freaking bad. But anyway, that was my look around this week at the Lava Rock Aquaponic Garden. Don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, all that fun, happy media stuff down below. And I will catch you next week. Till then. Later.